we're obviously disappointed to hear that. I, mean, I think the, the one thing there is those were SUVs. We're not making SUVs in Chattanooga. Um, and, and again, I emphasize what I had before. Nobody from Tennessee was involved in this decision to do this, and we have workers producing a great product there, and we want them to keep doing that. Obviously, I think it's in Volkswagen's interest to try to get to the bottom of this, straighten it out, announce here's what we're doing to remedy the situation and move forward. I mean, the, the state has a big investment. We have a lot of employees there. We want to see them do well and sell uh, a lot of Volkswagens. But uh, I think the, the key thing for them now is to, to get exactly out. Here's, what's, here's what happened. Uh, here's what we're going to do about it. Uh, and go back to being a world-class automobile manufacturer. Just good. Uh, how can you be so sure that, that, that there's no one that's involved in this when already it seems like there, there's more questions about it? Well, I mean, I've had enough conversations with the Volkswagen leadership in Chattanooga, uh, Christian Koch, who's, who runs the facility there, and others, and they have assured me that they were surprised by this as anything else. And, you know, I take them at their word for that. My sense is this was part of an engineering design that was happening uh, out of Germany, uh, and then, again, I've been reassured that nobody in Chattanooga had anything to do with this. So even though other divisions were involved, you still have to do that? Yeah, of course, yeah, the other divisions, of course, were Audi, which they own, and uh, Skoda is their other brand. But again, there's never been any inference from anybody that anybody in Chattanooga knew this was happening. Do you think that there's a, if there's a point where these revelations keep coming out and they could in any way affect what's going on in, in, in well, Chattanooga? Sure. I mean, you worry about the, the brand, right? I mean, every state has a brand, your all's institution has a brand, Volkswagen has a brand. And I think it's really important, like I said, for Volkswagen to dig to the very bottom of this, say, here's what all we know, here's how it happened. And here's what we're going to do to make customers whole. And the sooner we can get that sort of announcement, I think, the better. But they haven't said anything like, regardless of what happens, we are committed to well, expanding. Well, they, they have said, yeah, that they have reassured us, um, you know, countless times that our plans in Tennessee have not changed. And if you go visit down there, which I have, you know, the production facilities are still moving full speed. Um, their, you know, their their expansion is happening. There's, you know, there's beams going up and concrete being poured. All that is happening. Nothing, they haven't backed off one bit. And every time we talk with them. They assure us that nothing has changed in their plans at Tennessee. So, can we comment on the maintenance workers seeking representation from uh, UAW? Yeah, I think the vote is like December 5th or 6th. Um, again, my only thought is I'm not, I don't think this is the best timing. I think Volkswagen obviously has a lot of issues on their minds. I think their workers hopefully are, are focused on preparing, on, on making the, the, the very best cars they can. To me, it just seems like the wrong timing. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.